In this video, I wanted to share with you a simple route combination that you can utilize out of the trip side information that is going to allow you to manipulate pretty much every coverage in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, again, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Uh, it just allows you to be able to stay up to date when, whenever we release new tips and tricks. We release new videos pretty much every single day. So it just lets you know whenever a new video goes live uh, by subscribing and by hitting that notification bell uh, so that way you don't miss any of the videos. I also want to take a quick second and remind you about our Patreon. If you are watching this and you're not a Patreon member, really would highly encourage you to join that. It's only $10 a month and it allows you to get access to every uh, piece of Madden content that I have, all of my eBooks, exclusive breakdowns, pro player film rooms. Um, I recently uh, hurt my knee uh, and so I've been a little bit down uh, over the last couple of days, but we are going to be ramping that up over the course of the next couple weeks, uh, provided that hopefully I don't have to have surgery. Uh, so anyways, just wanted to say uh, stay in the loop on the Patreon. we got a lot of good stuff coming. We've already got 15 offensive and defensive ebooks. This trip side in is just one of them. We've also got uh, a ton of pro player film rooms. We've updated most of the ebooks as well, so that way they're up to date for you. And again, I've got a couple of stuff in the works. I'm just trying to kind of find that right next defensive set or formation to break down. I'm thinking right now, potentially some nickel wide nine or some uh, nickel double a gap uh, two four five stuff so uh, anyways guys uh, if you want to check that out there'll be a link in the description but let's just jump in here and talk about trips and it's really this concept is kind of a, a, a just a piggyback off of a video I think I did yesterday talking about how good the wheel route is as a primary route that you can actually utilize to force them to have to do a lot of stuff on the side of the field the wheel route is going to so you don't even have to necessarily have additional routes just the wheel route alone forces a specific type of coverage which what we're going to do is kind of build around that and open up some other stuff so if you don't have hot route master and you want to run this concept go ahead and grab the play uh pats y in i'm in the new england patriots playbook this play right here pats y in um, you're going to utilize this however if you do have tight end apprentice or hot route master come out and pa counter go and what we're going to do with this is we're going to post our tight end we're going to flat our um, number two receiver in the trips we're going to put mike evans there on an in route the number one receiver or the square icon we're going to put the circle receiver on a slant and then lastly, we're going to take the running back and we're going to wheel him. And what you're going to notice is he's going to be kind of our number one read. If we can hit the running back, we're going to hit the running back, okay? And the way you want to look at this is basically typically what you're going to want to do is if they don't have anyone in the flat, you can throw it early. But if they do have someone, you see how I can lowball that? That was a cover four drop quarter flat zone. Now I want to show you a cover three, and we're going to show you a curl flat defender. And again, we're going to be able to pretty much throw this against I'm pretty sure almost every coverage in the game. So again, you're just going to let him cut inside, low ball, as you can see. What this does, and most people think you have to have pull routes this year with how powerful the wheel routes really are, you really don't. You really don't necessarily, it's really not necessary to, um, for you to have uh, for you to have to have a pull route so if you don't want to have one you don't have to have one and uh, so here's a seam flat just want to walk you through just different zones that your opponent will try uh, zone drops are pretty much going to play almost exactly the same notice here you see how I can low ball it and as you can see they just for whatever reason in this year's game will low ball wheels especially the running back even if you don't have a pull route even if you're not in gun spread or bunch you can still throw this route, and most people don't throw it out of trips. Um, and, and honestly, I want to tell you the real re reason why. Because spam and buttons doesn't do that. And most people that run trips tied in, they are basically copy and paste of spam and buttons. And, and I think that's not a bad thing. I study a lot of his concepts. He's a great, great player. Arguably the best Madden player uh, this year, in my opinion. Uh, I think he's had just an incredible, incredible uh, resume this year. Over the last two years, really one of the better players. He may not be the best this year, but he's definitely in the top two to three conversation, at least in my opinion. The reason I'm saying that is because... 
if you um, if you just run what Spammin does, he actually doesn't use a lot of wheel routes. Honestly, I don't know why. Uh, maybe he just feels like he doesn't need to. Uh, maybe he doesn't like the whatever. What I'm suggesting to you is you can still utilize a lot of his concepts, but when you start learning how to make them have to respect your running back wheel route, it really is going to open up everything else in your offensive playbook. And so that's kind of the, the big piece that I wanted to kind of hit on, just as far as why you don't see a lot of players who run trips tight in. They don't run a lot of wheels to the running back. Occasionally they do, but this is just kind of an observation that I've made. Most competitive Madden players that are running trips tight in this year, they actually don't utilize the running back wheel. Uh, now I want to talk about cover two. So let's say we got uh, cloud flats from a cover two and a vert hook. Same exact thing. You're going to get in that position, low ball, and you see how I can cut that off. Again, now on the back side of this, I've got an incredible concept, right? I've got the in, the, the, the flat and in piece. I've got the slant post. Um, I've got really good concepts here. So I could work here first, and then what you're going to notice is this is what the user is going to do. Um, last thing I want to show you real quick before I do that, let me show you real quickly. This is man coverage with hard flats. And you're going to notice that, again, the window is going to be wide open. So, again, you're just going to let him cut up field, low ball. You get that aggressive catch. And as you can see, if you have back to a mismatch or master, you're really going to have uh, a fun time with that route. Okay? So now what I wanted to do is take just a quick second and show you what is the likelihood or how and why this is so good. Because when they go to user this, their user is going to go over here. Okay, and that's really the key. So their user is going to go over there. Okay, so because he's got to open up into that area. What that does is it now leaves us a ton of room over on the left side with our flat and in route, our quick slant right off the bat here. So our first read is really that right there. If we can take that, that's what I call a gift. If they're going to give it to you, you're going to catch turn and throw it. So if they're going to run over here, then and they basically have to, by the way chances are you're going to get this gift route a lot. Uh, you're going to get this route to circle a ton if you take just a quick second and look at it. Snap, look here, and you see there's a three rack, okay? So obviously we, sh we shouldn't have thrown that. But you see that what now they have to do is you put them in a position where they basically can't blitz you. Because if they blitz you, let's say they blitz you out of this, uh, and they're going to say, you know, we're going to run over here to the wheel route because we know, you know, we're sending pressure, right? So we know he's probably going to try to hit that wheel, well, watch this real quick. They're going there. There's nobody over here to guard this. And you've got so much room. And this is why trip side is so hard to guard because you're giving up so much space on the side, uh, on the edges of your defense. And your user has to cover so much ground to defend trip side in, in my opinion. So, again, if they're going to sit there and blitz you, this is probably one of the best blitz beaters in the game. And I'll show you another thing that they might do from time to time. They might, let's say they man that guy up. And let's say they're going to send pressure. And they're going to come at you and they're going to man up your running back. And they're going to try to use her that quick throw to the slant. I want you to watch what happens here. Stand strong in the pocket, low ball, and you can make a play over there on that wheel route. So tr you've got to learn how to trust that route and what it can do for you uh, as an offensive player. Okay? So now I want to move uh, real quickly here to another piece of this. And let's say that they go with two yellow defenders and they shade their coverage down. Now, sometimes this is very helpful in terms of how it's going to work when we come and back around and talk about defending wheel routes. It actually is really good against seam wheel routes, wheel routes. but hot routed wheel routes, you're still going to have that window. And there I butchered the pass lead, but you still basically have that window. So now what you're going to get is you're going to get some coverage that basically looks somewhat like this, but they still have to go over there. And this is the last kind of piece of this, and what you're probably going to throw a pretty decent amount, and that's the tight end route. So they come heavy underneath. You can throw that end route there, but what I like to do is low ball the tight end, and as you can see, you can kind of cut that off into a safe space or into a zone, an area on the field that's really hard to guard. Because that what they basically have to do to defend that is they have to have a little, they can't really shade down. So they got to have their coverage kind of backed off like this. And then now what you're getting on the left side is your flat routes are going to be open. Your tight end post route will still be open for the most part. I mean, they're going to have to, they're going to have to basically sit in a cover two uh, coverage to try to defend that. So you'll see something like this, if you will, where you've got a, a hard flat over there, you've got a cloud, and then you've got this guy 
covering uh, the running back. This is probably the best way they can cover this. But again, you're giving up so much space underneath if you do this over the middle because I can just sit here and take that route all day long, as you can see, because the user's already pulled himself out of the way. And then if he doesn't pull himself out of the way, then again, I can work back to the wheel route. So it all kind of hinges upon this route being one of the better routes in the game, which it definitely is this year. I think this is probably the hardest it's ever been to just stop just a basic wheel route. Um, zone just really doesn't defend it. Man coverage is probably your best chance, but even that, like, I mean, you get kind of fluky. Every now and then a man defense will guard it, but honestly, it's very fluky. It doesn't work every time. 99% of the time it doesn't work. Um, and so they get them in a position here. Wait to that last second. There you see there's that cutoff. And as you can see, I can I can wrap that up field. So this is a great little five out play. You can beat the blitz. You're just working here. If they blitz you, that's your gift. So then what they've got to do, again, remember, trying to think through the user piece of this, is if they're standing here, it is going to be ridiculously hard for them to get to the running back. And so if they are standing there, they're likely to defend the slant. Well now, again, you've got that route right there and you can throw that either quick or you can throw it late with a low pass. So anyways, guys, this is becoming one of my favorite passing concepts in this game. If you put some time in and some prep work in learning the wheel route, how to throw it against different coverages, how to pass lead it, how to catch it, how to low ball it, all that, um, it's going to really, really help you in terms of your execution. But literally, I mean, it's, 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 it's about as simply as I can put it. This is a layup type of pass. This is something you want to go to. You just got some spacing, you know, just, and you kind of force them to have to respect it. And then what's going to happen is now they're going to be spending a lot of time over on the right side of the field, which is where we want them because then we can do stuff like this, which is one of my favorite concepts also off of this, which is a little hitch little zig and then a little tight end post as you can see so the tight end post is really what makes this a very special concept pat's yn has something for you in there if you don't have tight end apprentice if you're still watching the video this is one of several of our setups that we have in our patreon ebook on the trip side in i've got 15 offensive and defensive ebooks out uh, on Madden 22, different offenses and defenses that you can utilize, full breakdowns, full schemes, and Tripside In is just one of them. So uh, all of them are up to date, all of them are ready to roll. So if you want to get access to that, all you, you can get all of them, literally all together, all of those eBooks for just $10. For just ten dollars, that's all it costs. As soon as you sign up, you get access to everything. We also put out probably one to three or four videos a week in our Patreon, where we're either updating an ebook, releasing an entirely new scheme, uh, kind of tweaking things as the meta shifts. So if you want to learn that stuff, all of it for just ten dollars a month, you can join the Patreon by clicking the link that I put in the description of this video down below. And again, you can sign up today for just ten dollars.